carved at Gobi Kli Teep represent the oldest calendar in the world? Gobi Kli Teep is considered the oldest known man-made place of worship. Its age is estimated at 11 to 12,000 years. Archaeologists studying Gobi Kli Teep suggest that the symbols carved on one of the pillars of the ancient temple represent the world's oldest lunisolar calendar. They also suggest that it was created to commemorate the devastating impact of a comet. Gobi Kli Teep is located in southeastern Turkey, close to the border with Syria. Archaeologists began excavations at this site in 1994. They led to the discovery of many similar structures in its vicinity. Gobi Kli Teep is located at the center of this group of pre-pottery Neolithic sites. Characteristic of the entire temple complex are huge T-shaped pillars, carved with intricate symbols, depictions of animals or human limbs. In the center of the structure there are two pillars surrounded by others. Their height ranges from 3 to even 6 meters. The whole creates an oval building. Many V-shaped symbols were found on one such pole. Their new interpretation, presented in the journal Time and Mind, suggests that the structure's builders were able to record their observations of the sun, moon, and constellations in the form of a calendar, created to keep track of time and mark the change of seasons. Scientists from the University of Edinburgh believe that the V symbols found on one of the monuments at Gobi Kli Teep can be interpreted as a lunisolar calendar, with 11 epigominal days added to each year to align the astronomical year with the calendar year. If researchers are right, it would be the oldest calendar of its type. Scholars point out that the day of the summer solstice is presented in a special way. They argue that it is represented by the V symbol worn around the neck of a bird-like creature. They also point out that nearby statues, probably representing deities, also have similar symbols around their necks. According to them, the depiction includes both lunar and solar cycles, and the carvings may be the world's earliest lunisolar calendar, predating other known calendars of this type by many millennia. According to researchers, the ancient builders of Gobi Kli Teep may have created these depictions to commemorate the meteorite impact. In previous research, scientists suggested that the symbols and images carved on one of the megalithic pillars may be a souvenir of the devastating comet impact from 13,000 years ago. Years. It is believed that this impact initiated the so-called Younger Dryas the last phase of cooling during the last glacial period. Researchers from Edinburgh indicate that this period, lasting over 1,200 years, led to the extinction of many species of large animals. It could also have caused changes in the lifestyle of people living at that time and the beginning of agriculture. On another pillar, carved images appear to depict a meteor shower. Researchers linked it to the Torids, which are believed to be the source of the space rock or its fragments that hit Earth. The authors of the publication emphasize that the representations carved on the monuments must have been very important to the inhabitants of Gobi Kli Teep. They suggest that the cataclysm may have started a new cult or religion that influenced the development of civilization. It appears that the inhabitants of Gobi Kli Teep were keen observers of the sky, which is to be expected considering that their world was devastated by a comet impact. This event may have started civilization by initiating a new religion. It may also have provided motivation to develop agriculture to cope with the cold climate. Perhaps their attempts to record what they saw are the first steps toward the development of writing millennia later, said Dr. Martin Sweatman of the University of Edinburgh, who led the research. It should be noted that research on Gobi Kli Teep and nearby structures is still at an early stage. Professor Klaus Schmidt from the German Archaeological Institute, 
who has led research at Gobi Kli Teep since 1995, said in 2009 that about 5% had been explored. Prehistoric Sanctuary Area Since then, work has moved forward, but it is carried out slowly so as not to lose the historical context. Taking the above into account, the conclusions presented by the Edinburgh researchers may not be confirmed in the course of further work.